Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today I am on this construction site will guide you for steel reinforcement details. In the construction of this RCC slab, which covered area is 8500 square feet. If you have any question related on this construction site, so you can comment, I will respond to you. So if you are new on this channel, so you may subscribe this channel for more civil engineering updates. If this video is important for you, so you may like this video. Let's get started guys. I will guide you in this practical video for extra steel rods. What is extra steel rods? Why we are providing extra steel rods? What is the purpose of extra steel rods? If we don't provide extra steel rods, so what's happened in this RCC slab? So this is the topic for today, okay? Remember guys here extra steel rods we are providing at the distance of L by 4 or L by 3 L by 3 if the span is longer if the span is shorter then we are providing at the distance of L by 4 L means the span between two columns or you can say the span for beam so guys you can see this is one column and here that is other column so here the span between these two columns is 24 feet so at the distance of l by 4 l by 4 mean 24 feet divided by so here by 3 not by 4 that's why because span is longer so at the distance of l by 3 we are providing here we are providing extra steel rods okay so when we are providing extra steel rods so let me show you the extra steel rods the span is 24 feet on each side at the distance of l by 4 we have extra steel rods guys you can see here this is singly mesh look at here with the spacing of 6 by 6 inches they used here 10 millimeter die of steel rod if you see guys this is extra steel rod mesh at the distance of l by 4 cell let me show you guys you can see here this is extra steel rods on each side of this pen guys you can see this is beam on the top of this at this side we have left side and also right side we have extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment why we are providing it to resist negative bending moment at the distance of l by 4 we have negative bending moment at the distance of uh, l by 2 means at the mid we have positive bending moment to resist positive bending moment we are providing uh, steel rods at the bottom of the beam where you can see they used four numbers of steel rods here but to resist negative bending moment at the end of the beam so there we are providing extra extra steel rods guys you can see at this beam at the bottom we have four numbers of steel rods you can see clearly in upper portion we have two steel rods but if you see at the distance of l by four we have extra steel rods look at here it resists negative bending moment look at here You can see clearly this is called extra steel rods the dia of extra steel rods is 12 millimeter with the spacing of 7 inches you can see the spacing is 7 inches okay so the span is 24 feet on 24 feet with the spacing of 7 inches we have extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment left side also on the right side at the distance of l by 4 where we have uh, the the span is 24 feet so this is 6 feet on this side on this side also we have at the distance of 6 feet we have extra steel rods so you can also provide bent up bar but bent up bar is economical compared to extra steel rods guys you can see everywhere you will see on four side you will see extra steel rods how guys you can see here this is extra steel rods from this side of beam from this side of beam you can see extra steel rods the mid is not, uh, the mid is open we don't have extra steel rods also from this side you can see extra steel rods from that side you can also see the extra steel rods so this is called extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment because this is not one way slip this is two way slip but in one way slip we are providing extra steel rods on the longer span okay as you can see this is very important to know about extra steel rods why we are providing it okay if if you don't provide so remember guys it cannot resist negative bending moment and if it can't resist negative bending moment it means you have more chances of cracks at the end of the beam 
or at the end of the column or you can say at the distance of L by 4 where we have negative bending moment. So this is the topic for today. Hope this short video can help you to know about extra steel rods. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.